I just found this new charity shop I'd like to go check out. What do you think? Oh, the teddies are looking a bit slim. That wasn't here yesterday. Yeah, I picked up loads of these yesterday. Should have, should have, should have, should have, should that was all they had. I don't know, I've seen some fresh ones today. Yeah, must have come in there. Is that good? I don't, I don't think that's good. There's a few of these, multiple listings. Let me see if they're worth getting to the load there. We'll have a look. We'll take them. Oh, what are you reducing? Reduce it all. I'll buy it all. What's a mini mop? Fun on glass. Mm. Anything fresher? No, Muay Thai shorts are okay, but no. that's fake as you like. The Reese jacket is still there. So is the Ivan Scott. Reese shirt. Size so small, slim fit. Bit of a snag there. Otherwise, I'd have had that. Loads of double twos, oh my goodness. Cutter and buck. Three, maybe. Let's have a look down there today. Xbox is gone. All worse, disco lines. Sorry, man. Oh my goodness. Almost knocked them over. Twelve. Five. Of course I am. Where should I, where should I start? I like it, I like it. Like Where do I start? I don't like <laughs> <laughs> I watched when the old chap brought this in. Bless him, he was about 90, not even joking. No, thank you. Just having a nose. Good afternoon. Well, the thing is, my basket's kind of half empty. Well, you better hurry up and fill it up then. Yeah, otherwise, yeah. Oh, let me have a look at these. Oh my goodness. I could be, I could be in the good books here. Lovely, lovely, she likes all the max, wax, wax melts and stuff. How much is a board game? Cask or something? Bloody hell, come on woman. I'm just going to put all these in here. I mean, it's Christmas is coming up. I'll just keep filling the basket there. I'll have them all. Oh, well, that's about 20 quid I've just spent on bloody Yankee candles. They're lovely, they are. Yeah, but you're selling it, you have to say that. I'd love to, but I'll never have the time. I've always said I'd love to like, volunteer like an hour or two at a charity shop. Well, I'll, I'll have a whale of a time. I'd, I'd, I'd be volunteering my time, but I'll, I'll have an empty wallet, which is fine. How, how long until you price that board game? It's just got that to do. You want, what, that's Nah, the Cascasoni, I think it's called. Oh, right, okay. Hold on, then. Let me have a look. I'll you no, I'm, I was only joking. No rush. In the next five minutes, we'll be good. Just like winding everyone up. Yeah, no, <laughs> I'm, I'm here for the next half an hour, minimum. Oh, Problem is, I've told them I want it. I mean, it's going to be expensive now. Yeah, yeah. I'll put the price up. Yep. Yeah. I am. Yeah, it'll be cheaper then. <laughs> I love Thursdays in here. Oh, you get me every day, all right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm in here every, every day. Yeah, that's enough. Trust me. Trust me. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not the best in big doses. I think for two quid. I think I should be able to squeeze. Four or five out of that I'm vinted, so that'll double up. And that'll pay for a few of those Yankee candles, won't it? For one fifty, I might grab that now. Ada would look. Oh no, maybe not. Oh my goodness, I was about to get this for Ada. Tarts go wild, girls. Yeah, no thanks. A bit of Claris Cliff. <laughs> Imagine. Oh. It's nice though, isn't it? A Japanese jam sugar jar. That's called like Maronware or something. Or Maroon, Maronware. I've seen it before somewhere. It's about 12 to 15. I think we're going to get it. Yeah, we'll get that. So these are five reach now. I'll probably get them now. 
There's a, maybe about 250 each now. It might be worth getting now. Now you can get about 12 quid for a pack of two, so two is going to be a five after posting. It's just not worth it. I'll do. Is that alright? Yeah, thank you. Hmm. Hmm. Can I please see the other one of these shoes if anyone's got a second? I'm in no rush. Do you mean to reach it? Nah, you manage. Just make sure the toes are right because they get a bit silly, don't they? That'll do. I need a new basket. It's a trolley. You need to get a little trolley in here. What you need is 15 of me every day to come in. You clear out. Another haircut, love. Who, me? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've got an even shorter now on here. I'll take it off completely. I've got a hat hair, all right? I've got, a, I've got an image to maintain. <laughs> I don't quite know what the image is, but I'm maintaining it. I'm still trying it. I'm going to keep that out of the way just there. Then I can go again. Picked up a lovely scarf. Sorry, mate. Let's go, baby. Can I put 37 pence on the end? Yeah, do that. Do that? Is yeah. That, will that be all Absolutely, right? Absolutely, yeah. Okay. So it's going to be 36 pounds. Thank you. Okay. It is the next day, so let's have a look and see what we picked up from the charity shop yesterday. That's been sat in my car, freezing, lonely, and sad. Two pound we picked up the Nintendo game. It was Enid Blyton, the adventure series. Only sells for about four to six pound. So about four pound on Vinted because I was selling with fees and postage over on eBay. So that's going to be just a quick double up and a bringing the average spend on the whole bundle down kind of item. Along with the games, they keep drip feeding some Wii games. So I need to go back in there today actually to see if any more come out. Because even though I asked them the other day, got any more coming out? Another one's appeared. Super Mario Galaxy, £3 paid on that. It's about a £14 game. And the disc again, minty, with a nice manual. As nice as manuals can be. Carcassonne. Now, these normally sell in there for about three quid. I obviously saw it on the back when I was at the back. I saw, saw it on the side, expressed interest, and it came out with a £5 ticker on it. I was going to say sticker and ticket then, so I said ticker. £5, I still don't mind. Brand new, these are about 30 odd quid. I reckon pre-owned, hopefully everything's there. They're quite easy to check these ones. Um, 12, 15, 16 pound on Vinted. I picked up one of those, I never know how you say it, Ulos Ulu recorders. It's the big one, I think it's called a, a tenor, a tre I don't know, treble. I'm not sure. It's a recorder. It was three pound down to one pound fifty. I'll pick it up for that. I will. They're about 12 to 15 pound, if I remember rightly. This is a lovely little, I never know how you say it, Maron, Maronware, Preserve Jar. I haven't actually tested it yet. I'll say tested it. It was £1.25, half price. So what's that? £62.50? £62.50? Something like that. So it was cheap. Cheap, cheap. Just a nice little thing. Made in Japan. Japanese made. They sell for around about 12 to 15, sometimes 18 you're looking at more like the tenor mark kind of thing. I don't mind that for like 60p. Saw this lovely little scarf, Americanized, Americanism. Quite a big one. Oh, say can't you see? This was £1.50 and it's actually by POM, London. I, look, I looked them up, never heard of them before. Carefully chosen for you by POM. And what I saw on their website is they are a hand-picked, curate, curated, curated, they're basically a bit of a snazzy clothing shop and they handpick items for their store. I'm hoping about 15 good on that. I'm hoping more, obviously, but at least 15, surely. Come on. It's lovely. It's really nice, almost like seersucker material as well. What else was there? Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five of these Waspinator kits. £1.50 each. They just repel wasps. No chemicals, no maintenance, and no dead wasps. Good for everyone. £1.50 each, these are selling on average of £8.99 all in per one. So, that might even be a large letter, I don't know. But if it's three quid to post, minus the four, minus the £1.50, it's four fifty already. 
minus about a quid of fees. It's five fifty, six, seven, eight, three pounds fifty each, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Make about eighteen quid all in after fees and stuff from the whole lot. To be fair though, I might try listing them at five a pop. So they owe me seven fifty for everything. I might try listing them all for Twenty four ninety nine, which is still a bargain for whoever knows what they are, and get them gone like that. Probably the best way for me to maximise my money. A stack of Yankee candles. They were fifty pence each. I spent about six pounds fifty on that bundle there, but they're going to go to Emma. She likes to burn that kind of stuff over the Christmas period. You know what I mean? And a pair of Clark's Gore Tex Trigenic Trigenic walking shoes. Eight pounds. Eight pound for the pair. They need a bit of a clean up. They're ladies size seven. Which again is Emma's size, but she wouldn't wear them. They're going to be an easy twenty nine ninety nine, and I paid eight pound for them. I'll list these on probably Vinted and eBay. It's one of the rare occasions that I will do a cross list. So eight pound into hopefully twenty nine ninety nine. And that was everything from the charity shop. So I've just been doing a little bit of listing and I've decided that I might as well go live with the family for a bit and have a bit of a chit chat and a catch up. Those two games that I just spoke to you about, the Nintendo. Wii, Galaxy, and the Enid Blyton's Adventures on the DS. Just listed them, what, 10 minutes ago before I went live? They've sold, quick in and out. Bought yesterday, listed today, sold today. What did I pay? Three, four, five. It's off a 15 pound and a few quid on vintage, so that's a nice straight 10 pound. I know. How's the, back, how's the um, backstage access? These lot are getting, remember on DVDs when you get a lot of special features and you get to see, <laughs> see on the back? <laughs> let's, let's have a look and see who's on there. Go on. Vinny, don't forget to like. Who's going to win? Linda Shepherd's there. John's lovely mother. The Dave is in. Close them, buh. Yeah, they are. Buh, what, buh. Dot is for my neck of the woods. Everybody's saying hi. Say hi, chat. There you go. Everyone's saying hi. It's Friday today. I was going to implement my new charity shop run, which is annoying because I've just come in here to do it and I've got to charge my batteries up. My batteries aren't charged. Amateur. Amateur moves. So we'll have to wait till next week to start implementing that massive, massive, I say massive, just a charity shop run. I know you guys love my local and so do I, but I like to go around a bit more. So hopefully we can have a bit of fun with that one. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Check out this video here if you want to watch some more.